Okay, so we've looked at the linear scale factors, we looked at the perimeters, and we've looked at the areas for a two-dimensional shape. Now we need to go to three-dimensional shapes and look at our surface area and our volume and how they compare. Now, for the surface area, we're going to be looking at this in terms of rectangular prisms to make the surface area a little bit simpler and a little bit more straightforward. So remember, in this case, if this is my length, my width, and my height, for example, then my surface area is going to be 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. So we're always going to wind up having the pairing of all the different combinations. I'm going to multiply these together and I'm going to multiply these together and I'm going to multiply these together and because it's going to be the same on the front and the back I'm always going to double what that is and add it all together. So in the first case, the area of this is 46. If I double all the dimensions, and do the same thing again, 6 times 10 times 2, 6 times 2 times 2, and 10 times 2 times 2 and add it all up, I get 184. My new surface area is 184, my old one was 46, and it divides out evenly to become 4. In the second case, if I have 9 times 6 times 2, 9 times 12 times 2, and 6 times 12 times 2, I'm going to get 468. If I give them all a scale factor of 1 over 6, I'm going to have 1.5 by 1 by uh, 2. And if I have 1.5 times 1 times 2 plus 1.5 times 2 times 2 plus 1 times 2 times 2, I'm going to get an area of 13. 13 over 468, when I divide the top and the bottom by 13, is going to give me 1 over 36. Moving on to the next one, I'm going to get an area of 184. When I multiply all dimensions by 3 over 2, I get 6 by 12 by 7.5, which is going to give me a surface area of 414. 414 over 184 can get reduced down to 9 over 4. And for the last one, I'm going to have a surface area of 252. When I multiply all the dimensions by 2 over 3, I'm going to get 2 by 8 by 4. This is going to have a surface area of 112. And 112 over 252 is going to give me a reduced fraction of 4 over 9. If I compare these once again, the 2 to the 4 is just going to look like 2 squared. 1 over 6 to 1 over 36 is going to be 1 over 6 squared. 3 over 2 to 9 over 4 is 3 over 2 squared, and 2 over 3 to 4 over 9 is 2 over 3 squared, which means that the surface area is going to be the same as just a two-dimensional area. It's going to be the linear scale factor squared, or multiplied by itself. Volume will be a little bit easier. 
for volume, I'm just multiplying all the dimensions by each other. So 3 times 5 times 1 is 15. If I square it, 6 times 10 times 2 is 120. And 120 over 15 is going to give me 8. For the second one, 9 times 6 times 12 is going to be 648. 1.5 by 1 by 2 is going to give me 3. And 3 over 648 is going to give me 1 over 216. Four by eight by five is one sixty, and six by twelve by seven point five is going to give me five hundred and forty. Five forty over one sixty is going to be the same as twenty seven over eight. And last but not least, if I have three by twelve by six, I'm going to have two sixteen. And 2 by 8 by 4 is going to give me 64. 64 over 216 is going to reduce down to 8 over 27. Now, if I look at the 2 to the 8, I need to multiply the 2 by 4. Or, in relation to the original number, I need to multiply the 2 by the 2 by 2 in last case. If I have 1 over 6 to 1 over 116, that would be the same as 1 over 6 times 1 over 36, or 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 times 1 over 6. I'm sure you can see the pattern here. Same thing, 3 over 2 to get to 27 over 8 is 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2, and 2 over 3 to 8 over 27 is going to be 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 times 2 over 3. The volume scale factor is just going to be the linear scale factor to the power of 3 in this case. Now, an easy way to remember this is, remember, if I do units, my linear would be in meters. My area or surface area is always in meters squared, and my volume would be in meters cubed, the way that we express that tells you what I need to do to the scale factors.